speakers, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. Welcome to the international webinar entitled The Practices of Character Building Education During the Pandemic. And I am Evelina Nisi, and I will be the MC for today's event. First of all, I would like to invite all the participants to be prepared as our conference today will begin shortly. And we would like to kindly remind you to adhere to the webinar rules and regulation that we will share on the chat box. One, rename your account to your name and your institution. Two, the host will mute the participants' audio during the conference. Three, should you have any questions, you may write your comments or your question via chat. Four, participants may turn on their video only during the group photo sessions. And the last, participants are expected to fill out the attendance forms and the host will share the link before the webinar ends. So ladies and gentlemen, before we start our agenda today, let us offer our thanks to the Almighty God through a prayer. And we would like to invite all the guests to join us in a prayer. And Miss Pia will lead the prayer. Thank you, Miss Arvin, for your time. I will lead the prayer in Catholic way. Let us pray together. In the name of Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and loving Heavenly Father, we come to you this day asking for your blessing and help as we are gathered here together for the international webinar. We pray that you guide our speaker that may be able to impart the knowledge and wisdom we need to be able to perform our work with the spirit of joy and enthusiasm. What the attendance that they may be understand what will be discussed today. We ask this, we ask this in, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. And now we will sing Indonesia National Anthem, Indonesia Raya, and continue with the hymn of Sutio Pranoto Catholic University. For all participants, please say it formally.
Okay. And to begin this conference, we would like to invite Dr. Christina Ananingsi, STMSJ, as chairperson, to deliver her welcoming remark. Dr. Ananingsi, the time is yours. Thank you. Good afternoon, distinguished audience, ladies and gentlemen, and our beloved students. It is my great pleasure to welcome all of you in this international webinar. Firstly, I would like to thank God for all of his blessings so we can prepare and conduct these international webinars, the practices of character building education during the pandemics. These international webinars is conducted to share the importance of character building education and its practices during the pandemics, and also to share the method and instruments to support the implementations of character building education, especially during the pandemics. Student needs to be equipped with the character building education to develop their potentials. So they are able to become a person with integrity and they can contribute to the nations and others. I would like to thank to the United Board for support us, support us with the Bamboo Grants to conduct our projects, designing online course for university students, our for the university students character buildings. And our colleagues will share the implementations of online character buildings in our university in this webinar. We call it Arising the Grateful Winners. I will convey my sincere thanks to all the keynote speakers and moderators. Dr. Slade Gersons from University of Saint Lazare, Bacolod, the Philippines. Thank you. Father, Father Dr. Regi M. Cherians from Marian International Institute of Management, India. Thank you. Krista Vidya Abimanyu and Dwi Setianto and Dr. Hendy Hartono from Sugiyo Pranoto Catholic University. Thank you. Also, thank you for the Office of Student Affairs and International Affairs on Cooperation Office for supporting this event and all of the committee members thank you very much who help and make the successful of this event last but not least hopefully we will have a fruitful time and will be benefited from these international webinars thank you very much Thank you, Dr. Ananingsi, for the welcoming remark. So, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have completed the opening ceremony, we are pleased to present the speakers. And for this session, our moderator, Dr. Henny Hartono, will lead the program. Now, let us welcome Dr. Henny Hartono. Okay, thank you, Evelyn. All right, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this international webinar. We are very happy to see you all here, and we are also uh, feeling so uh, glad to see uh, many of you coming from different institutions. Um, it shows that this topic is really relevant for all of us here. And on this very special occasion, we will also have inspiring resources. They will share their experience and also their thought in um, character building education. Well, as we know that character building is a lifelong process which will never end. And yeah, as um, what I can put from, Eleanor Roosevelt, 
who says that character building begins in our infancy and continues until death. So it is, it is a lifelong process and nothing can stop it, including COVID-19. So on this very special occasions, we will also uh, listen to some experiences and also thought from our uh, resources today, from our speakers today, how the character building education is conducted during this time of pandemic. We have four inspiring speakers this afternoon. We have Dr. Slit Gadsen from the University of St. Lasalle, Bacolod City, the Philippines. And we also have Father Dr. Reiki M. Cherians from Marian Institute of uh, Marian International Institute of Management. And we also have two young speakers from our university, uh, Mr. Abi Mayu and Mr. Dwi Setianto. All right, let's just begin our webinar today with the first presentations from our first speaker. I'd like to invite our first speaker, Dr. Slit Garson. Before we, Slit Garson is a senior lecturer at the University of San La Salle, uh, Bacolod City, uh, Philippines. And uh, he's got his Bachelor of Art majoring in philosophy from the University of St. Carlos Cebu City. And then he, he got his Master of Art majoring in religious studies from Institutes of Formations and Religious Studies, uh, Quezon City. And he pursued his Doctor of Philosophy in Religious Studies from the University of St. La Salta City. And Dr. Slade Garson is also a missioner, um, a missioner uh, is a missionary uh, person. He spent about three years in Pakistan for missionary. And then uh, she has been teaching religious studies for 22 years since 1999 at the University of St. La Salle, Bacolod City. And she also, he also served as the director of Center for Resilience Ministries College Campus Ministry. And um, he also involved in some other uh, trainings related to character buildings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's join me to give virtual round of applause for round of applause for our first speaker, Dr. Slate Garson. Dr. Garson, time yes. is yours. Thank you, Dr. Loon and Dr. Mm -hmm. Henny for the, the uh, introduction. Thank you very much. And good afternoon, everyone, especially those who are 136. Wow. I hope and pray that uh, our coming together uh, will bring us closer to God and, of course, uh, strengthen our character. So let me share my, my PowerPoint presentation so that uh, I can also help you and see how do we build the, the character here in the Bacolod City or Philippines. So first, uh, warm, warm greetings from the city of Smile, Bacolod City, Philippines. If you are looking at the picture, uh, you can see some people wearing masks. And there is a reason behind this. But if you look at the mask right now, they are all smiling. That's why uh, the city where I belong, it's called the City of Smile. Uh, but the brief history about our city, it's a City of Smile tag uh, that came across from, we call it mascara or a mask. And it started in 1980. Um, um, Bacolod City is so sweet, the people here in our economic uh, condition of our city went down in 1980s because uh, of the um, international consumers stopped importing our product, sugar, from the city or from the province because of the 
uh, corn syrup or substitute for uh, natural sh sugar. At the same time, in April 22, 1980, there is this uh, Don Juan, a luxury liner on its way back to Bacolod from Manila, collided with an air uh, oil tanker. And then that uh, left 176 people um, dead. In fact, my first cousin was one of the passengers and God rest her soul, she also died during this uh, April 22 incident. So our local government unit decided that um, we need to we need to move on. We cannot uh, we cannot stay sad and lonely. So they have decided that let's come up with an event called Mascara Festival. And then a little background about my school. Uh, our school is run by the Belasal brothers, founded in France, of course. No? And then in 1952, they have come here in our city uh, to put up or establish another school. It's called La Salle College then. And then um, this university is a member of De La Salle Philippines. And right now we have 16 universities or, or schools in the Philippines, in our country, De La Salle, or La Salle uh, schools. And then finally, our university offers preschool, elementary, secondary, that includes junior and senior high, and then the undergrad and graduate programs. So we have seven colleges, namely business and accountancy, engineering and technology, arts and sciences, education, nursing, law, and medicine. For now, we have 5,347. I don't know, Doc Henny, how many students do you have? <laughs> in your university? I, uh... Yeah, around 10,000 until, yeah, around 10,000. Okay, okay. I will include the elementary and the secondary around uh, nine to 10,000 also students we, are, we have in our school. So that makes us a little close to each other. So um, the main question now is why have we survived after 69 years? Uh, here in Bacolod, and especially now, despite the pandemic. In our school, uh, we believe that we have these core values that we need to build and uh, strengthen. Faith, uh, okay. the spirit of zeal for service, and the spirit of communion in mission. So faith allows us to see uh, things the way God sees and the zeal or enthusiasm for service. So we serve uh, with joy, uh, especially the students entrusted to our care. And then finally, uh, we do things not alone, but together and by association, together with the LaSalle brothers and also the lay partners. So, uh, Students who are enrolled in our class, we expect them that they graduate having these uh, attributes or again, characters. We call them ELGA, Expected Lasallian Graduate Attributes. And there are three. So we hope that our students, after graduating from our university, they have become critical thinkers, effective communicators, and socially responsible Christians. So the question now is, how do we form these characters or values among our students, especially our uh, core values and the ELGA. So during this pandemic, we have uh, different practices and we first we have online recollections uh, conducted by the brothers, De La Salle brothers. Also, uh, we have in our school, the campus ministry um, or uh, Selam. At the same time, we have the, the volunteers for ILAF or Institu Institutional Lasallian Animation Formation. And we are enjoying the planning and then the meeting online, of course. Uh, and then um, here you have four Ilongo word or words, uh, local uh, dialect or language in our city. 
Pagpasugod meaning uh, start. Pagpadalom deepening. Paghugpong united or communion union. Pagpasalamat uh, saying thank you. And so uh, we have divided our adult formation um, into four groups uh, depending on their uh, years of service in the sun. And of course, uh, those who are, have just started, so that we conduct this recollection called the uh, pagpasugod, and then, and so on and so forth. Um, part of our uh, for formation or building of character is we invite also speakers from outside our university. And we were blessed last April 15, 2021, because uh, one of the bishops in our city or in our province, uh, he has agreed to conduct and uh, give a talk about grace amidst the pandemic. It was a beautiful experience for all of us participants because yes, indeed, I hope uh, people in Indonesia, you also have seen the grace of God amidst the pandemic. Uh, there is always beauty behind what is ugly. Huh? So, and then from there, we, for our students, uh, we allow the Center for La Salle Ministry or Campus Ministry to take charge of the online uh, recollections of our, our students. It's a one day recollection. Huh? So, and then so far by the grace of God, some students are able to feel closer to God and maybe um, did a little, uh, little changes or conversion in their lives. Another practice that we have is another uh, online webinars or webinars conducted by brothers or invited speakers. So there was a April 8th for instance, we had the introduction to mindfulness. So, and then uh, this brother, he, he offered himself to continue this uh, formation about uh, meditation, about mindfulness. Okay, and then uh, I was saying that we do things not alone, but together and by association. That's why our school also, we welcome uh, the lay partners, for instance, our uh, guidance and evaluation center headed by Dr. Lito Diaz, he and his team also, they conduct uh, webinars, most especially for mental wellness. And of course, uh, for uh, what would help us uh, cope with, uh, especially the pandemic right now. And then, uh, um, Yesterday, during the dry run, uh, we were talking about this cooperative. So people gather together their resources and then they share what they have to the less fortunate or maybe those who need to buy medicine for their loved ones, send their, uh, buy some school supplies for their, for their children uh, and many other benefits that we can gain by joining this. Uh, and uh, during this time, December 4, uh, God again blessed us by, with another bishop called Gerardo Alminasa. And he talked about uh, uh, faith, hope, and love amidst the storm or again uh, during this pandemic time. And uh, uh, just to, just to uh, encourage people to attend also and to make them happy that day, if you can see at the bottom of my slide, so those who attended uh, had the opportunity to win during the raffle uh, drawing, uh, raffle prizes. So we have uh, uh, little money or gifts or prizes for them. And so far they are happy with the, the, uh, the prizes. And then um, in our school also very challenging first time, uh, because the students cannot come to school or the, the university. So we decided to have our sports fest online. So uh, you might be wondering, how did we do it? So for example, uh, we call it Animolympics. 
with our Office of Students Affairs and the University Student Government. So they were able to come up with some uh, sports competition. For instance, if you look at that, we have the, our e-games. So I was, in fact, I was asking my daughter last night, uh, my dear, uh, what do you think are, can you give me one value uh, that uh, you can gain by playing Mobile Legends, for example? Uh, my daughter, she's now in grade eight. She said, Daddy, it teaches me to accept uh, defeat um, humbly or uh, openly. Um, playing and at the same time if you lose then it taught it taught me uh, about sportsmanship something like that huh? so also we have the uh, virtual bike challenge so maybe from one point in our province then they had to ride the bike and uh, whoever reaches the the designated area of course uh, would be declared as the winner and uh, we also have our dance category, La Salian's Got Talent. You know? And then at the same time, we have the song category. So uh, you might be wondering how, how we were able to do it in spite the, the social distancing and the health protocols. How come we have our chorus singing? We know that it's dangerous when you speak and uh, sing and then your saliva might uh, hit somebody else. Huh? So uh, what we did, we were, we instructed our participants that they have to sing alone. And then you have to record it. And after that, then we just simply edit the video and then try to, to uh, what do you call this? Gather all the, the, the recordings and then, uh, Play and I come up with one song. So, so far, that's it. You know? So, Dr. Henny, uh, I don't know if I still have time to play my song, talk, talking about the song, or maybe. Yeah, later. sure, sure. It's okay. You can play the song. Okay, Sige. Thank you very much. So, this song is uh, sung by um, one of uh, La Salian graduates. Um, in Manila, he's a singer, a celebrity, and an actor. So he composed this song entitled We've Won. And the whole point, and at the heart of his song is, uh, even if we just touch one soul, we won. And that is our mission. So how do we touch souls? Uh, let us uh, listen to his uh, beautiful, beautiful song. Fans and all, but when we raise our hands up into the air, it's more than just basketball or winning a sporting event. It really has a lot to do with, at least I speak as one who's come from elementary all the way up to college. It speaks about who I am and who I'm meant to be. And um, it's just my way of sharing with you that from what every expectation. Listen. Tests of time may come to break us all apart. We will pick up all the pieces, never giving up one part. If there's one thing that I've learned from St. John Baptist Day, the song, through the words of our battle cry, live Jesus in all Okay, so I think what, that's also one of the reasons why I've stayed in La Salle for 22 years. Uh, it's all about uh, bringing someone, each student, closer to God. So uh, with this, I'd like to say, Terima uh, kasih, Madam Ogigna Salamat in our uh, language. We'll be glad to answer some of your questions later. So I wish uh, all the best our next speakers. 
Miss Henny, I'm back to you. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Garson. Thank you, Salamat. Well, that's a very inspiring presentation, and indeed, it is a meaningful and beautiful song. All right. Well, for the audience, if you have questions for Dr. Garson, you can keep your answer and you can ask your questions. You can give your questions later uh, at the uh, Q&A sessions. Next, we are going to have our next speaker. Well, we are supposed to have Father Dr. Reiki M. Cherians as the second speaker in our webinar, but uh, we just got uh, news that at these times, uh, Father Reiki is still in Dubai because he's, uh, he is on his way to the United States. Well, actually, um, he had been planning to give this talk uh, in the United States, but because of the uh, situations in India uh, some times ago, he had to postpone his trip to the United States, and it was only two days ago he uh, left India, and uh, now, right now, uh, he's still on his way to uh, the United States. So, unfortunately, he's still, probably, he's still on the planes right now, so... I'm afraid we uh, cannot have him, but um, we will have two other speakers with us. The next speaker will be, okay, let me read his name because uh, our next speaker has quite a long and unique name, so I have to read it, so I don't, um, I don't uh, mispronounce it. Uh, I tried to memorize his name, but I always fail because it's a long name. <laughs> okay, his name is Krista Fidia Rana Abimanyu, Magister of Psychology. But you can call him with a very short, yeah, very short nicknames. You can call him Mr. Abi. Hello, Mr. Abi, are you here? Yes. Hello, Bueni. I'm here. Hello, yeah. Hello, Mr. Abi. All right. I guess everyone is not is not ready to is not uh, patient to uh, listen and follow your presentations. Yeah, today Mr. Abi is going to share something which is very interesting, something about um, the practice of character building educations conducted at Sukhavanatok Catholic University. Yeah, and okay, I I don't have to. Um, uh, tell you a lot about it because um, Mr. Abi will uh, tell you about it later. But before uh, before we uh, start uh, following his presentations, I just want to read a bit about uh, Mr. Abi, and and he was also the best graduate. I fall in the very long list on this, at least. There are 52 training at EGW. So, at EGW is a student orientation program that has been held since 2007. In summary, we can think of at EGW as training or, more specifically, character building education. In 2008, when I was a student, I was an at EGW training. Now, I am one of the trainers in at EGW program since I'm a uh, lecturer in here in Unika Sukhyo Pranoto. Uh, I will ask the technician to to what is present my presentation. Would you help me, please? Would you help me, please? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah this is us, uh, the trainer, the trainee in arising the grateful winner, yeah, at EGW. Student assistance map. Uh, this is the agenda that will help the student in Katologi Unika Sukhyo Pranato to be excellent in their life. Okay, until all the first in the left side, uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, PTM City Super Training from PKM. PKM or program in creativity. So in this Contest is creativity. So in this contest, in this PKM contest, students can have a supervision 
from their lecture one semester until the end semester we also carry to help them adjust to situation that may them adjust to situation that may be personally annoying the student assistance mod is one of the keys to the success of the ATGW program ATGW program is only for the next program yeah uh, next please so why ATGW is one of the important things in the student's assistant map here yeah in Indonesia there are many teenagers who want to continue their education from high school to university but they need to remember that the life of being a student is not the end goal studying in a higher education level can make some people proud of this of themselves of course but they need to remember that the studying and being a student is a process to achieve a bigger goal therefore the character and the soft skill of student need to be developed to help them make it happen monsignor sugiyo pranoto said that you should not only hide the talents given by God, offering them entirely to the country, nation, and country. Yeah, this work become the basic spirit to facilitate students to achieve the required character and soft skill to live as a student. Uh, later in a discussion between the vice chancellors of uh, student affairs, the Sukiya Institute, alumni users, students and several other related parties some require soft skill were obtained the soft skill are critical creative visionary caring and also tough this is uh, like the core value for the uh, for the uh, student the first is critical critical is an open attitude to reality Students need to open up to the problems around them, not just to be silent or focus on, the, on their own work. And the second one is creative. Creative is the willingness to find solution to solve the problem around them. And the third is a visionary. Visionary is the willingness to think ahead. Students of the solution in the future in order to avoid the bad effects that will occur. And the fourth is caring, peduli or care. Peduli or care uh, is the willingness to really do something for those who need. It's also the willingness to give a hand and take action with their solution. And the last one is tough. Tough means that you will turn the solution that have been thought, thought of and are willing or, uh, to face any problem or consequences that might get you in way. So this is the values for student in Unika Sufio Pranoto Catholic Union. necessary in becoming a student. Start in 2007 using active learning method. In these methods, students are invited to be active through discussion, role play, case studies, games, and debriefing. In ATGW, there are only a very few lecturers. So uh active learning is is a big part of these trainings uh, like the active learning method in general trainees participation is very very important so to ensure this ATGW is not only led by a trainer there is also a co-trainer who leads around 10 to 12 students who are ATGW, ATGW participants so uh, in every year we have um, about 29 29s Uh, person to be co-trainer in ATGW. Trainers are usually lecturers or, or also ATGW alumni who meet the criteria. While co-trainers are senior students who meet the criteria and have completed the ATGW before. Trainers and co-trainers, each of whom receive training first to equalize perceptions before carrying out their duties. They also receive evaluation and feedback during implementation by the ATGW supervisor. So we have supervisor and 
They are students also, the senior students. ATGW supervisor is played by a former ATGW co-trainer who passed the selection stage. Nah, ATGW process itself, check, okay, ATGW process itself, nah, as we can see, there is a three stage in here. The first part is pre-ATGW, yeah, the lowest one. This section contains explanations and overview for the participants. The ATGW, pre-ATGW, ATGW aims to prepare participants for training. And after that, the second part is the implementation of training, the ATGW training itself, which is carried out for two days of training. This section aims to convey the five soft skill points that have been formulated before. In this process, this training begins with material on the importance role of the student for the state, then continued with five soft skills, uh, critical, creative, visionary, care, and tough. And the material is then closed with goal setting. Yeah. The goal setting aims for students to con continue the spirit of being critical, creative, visionary, caring, and tough in their respect, uh, res, uh, own goals. And after that, uh, we don't stop the training after ATGW finish. After two days ATGW training, we have follow-up phase. Okay, a follow-up session or follow-up phase is conducted for one month. So the follow-up only is one month. Uh, total from pre Process at ATGW, ATGW and then follow up total is about four months. Four months, yeah. The follow up session aims to help students apply critical, creative, visionary, caring, and tough in student daily life. The good relationship established between the co trainer and trainee can help trainees in the process because we have a four months process, yeah. So a good relationship help them a lot. Uh, by 2020, ATGW is designed to be more familiar with the younger generation. My colleagues and I adapted ATGW to be done online. Thanks to God, this program can be ready so that during the COVID-19 pandemic, ATGW can still be carried out. The following is a video that I took from the ATGW W process footage. Okay, uh, please help me to play the video.
Yeah, thank you. That is the ATGW uh, process, and we still uh, have the spirit of active of active learning. As you can see, we still do uh, games on ice breaking, also uh, discussion session, and also the evaluation session. Uh, we still keep the active learning methods, and we still uh, uh, help this uh, in pandemic. Session. Uh, thank you for listening. I hope you can enjoy it. So that's all. Bu Madratar, Bu Heni. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Abi. All right. Okay. I hope everyone here you got an idea of what my colleagues have been doing so far in our character building education, um, and what Pa Abi just presented. It just one of the stages as he described just now earlier in his presentation yeah it started from the new students orientations or what he called just now as ptmb yeah maybe our friends from overseas uh, do not understand what it is ptmb ptmb is new students orientations and then uh, after the new students orientations the new students have to follow some activities including uh, the ATGW or raising the grateful winner okay still about raising the grateful winner we will we will talk about it deeper and we will um, we will follow the next presentations from our next speaker who is going to show us how this activity was conduct conducted in uh, our last in our last um, training and it was conducted online um, mr dwi setianto We'll talk about this. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Anto. Hello, Winnie. Yes. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Now we will have Mr. Uh, Dwi Setianto, Master of Computer Science, ZCNA. He is one of the senior lecturer at the Computer Science Faculty, Sukhya Pranoto Catholic University, and he has been involved in this project with Mr. Abi and also Dr. Tina in this project was supported by the United World. And Mr. Uh, Anto is also um, yeah, at this time being, he also served as the as the associate director of the research center, the research and uh, community service institute, Sukhya Pranoto Catholic University. And Pak Anto, are you ready to share your experience and also some ideas about the practice of character building education during the pandemic of times? All right, okay, seems that he's ready. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Dwi Setianto. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Henny, for the introduction. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I will, uh, I will present our project about the technology thoughts in ATGW. It is very hard to spell ATGW. We usually said as ATGW. <laughs> it's, it's been brand, uh, but I will try to spell it in English. Um, I will share my PowerPoint. Okay. Uh, it was. Uh, a big opportunity, great opportunity for me to present our project, uh, support by UD, Bamboo Brand project. Uh, this presentation will be divided into three parts. First, we I will talk about why we propose this project to the UP. The second one is about the implementation of the project. And the last is what uh, we try to take some conclusion about this this uh, presentation. First, I will talk about the why we propose this project. 
as explained by Mr. I.P. Manu uh, on the previous presentation, our university tries to internalize our value to our students. Our value are critical, creative, visionary, caring, and persevere. Uh, in Indonesia, we say, uh, in Bahasa, we usually say as tangguh. Mr. I.P. translated as toughness. Uh, it's not a big problem. Uh, this internalization usually take by new students at the beginning of their study in SU. To reach this goal, we held an ATGW that must be followed by all new students. From the ATGW evaluation, we realized that uh, most of the participants are millennial and centennial generation. We know that uh, millennial and centennial participant or generation is native digital or digital native generation. So we think that using technology as a tools of training will increase the acceptance and a training uh, acceptance on training material. We also realized that uh, character building process should not stop on the training only. So it should be a long life learning process. So using technology, uh, especially information technology, will give us possibility to save the data, to save the information about the training and participant and then in the future, we can evaluate them to evaluate our system, our character building system. So using IT uh, will produce data for next evaluation. Students so can, can also use our system to be uh, an e-life diary because they can, uh, they can review their goals, their uh, target, their milestone, every time they need it. Even when they, they are graduated from SU. Because in attack away, um, I'm sorry, ATGW training, uh, co-trainer still accompany the participant until one until two, uh, two months after the training to review their target compared to the achievement, their achievement. The data, the, the ATGW data that saved to the system can also used by the academic supervisor. Academic supervisor can see the student uh, target to the mission in academic field so that every student must be uh, advised by specific uh, strategy based on their own uh, target. So this uh, TGW system will provide the data to the academic supervisor, supervisor. Finally, with the United Port Bamboo Grant support, we and we know that uh, at the 2020, the pandemic, uh, COVID-19 pandemic uh, has begun. Suddenly, so many things have to do with using IT. Dr. Garson said they so they do dancing competition, reunion, class using uh, IT. So uh, we are very grateful because in 2020, we have built and used my tools supported by UP. This is the paper piece form that used at ATGW before 2019. We use paper piece form to fill the target goal mission from the stu uh, student, they usually use pen. And losing, losing this book is very common situation that happened. 
broken book, lose, uh, lost book. It's very common situation happen after the training. So we use my course on ATGW on, on 2019. We use smartphone instead of the paper piece form. At the training, we divided training into three steps, pre-training, during training, and post-training. And the, at the pre-training, the system will provide. Uh, the left one is the graphical user, user interface of the system. The system will provide the technical meeting material, a video that contains the explanation of ATG W rules. What should be prepared, what should uh, what student must do, what student mustn't do, and many things to prepare the student uh, before training. We also pre uh, provide manuals, modules, introduction material. We know that online training will be very, very boring if uh, uh, held in long duration. So we have to uh, prepare the student before the training so that the training will be uh, effective in time. During the training, the system will provide all case stud, uh, video stud, all case study video related to the training material. So the material of the training will be provided by system so that my uh, student can review the material after training session, during the training session. In this space, but uh, my goals also provide feedback form. So the student can write their feedback before and after the session. This feedback is very useful for us to evaluate the session, session by session, trainer by trainer. So this is a uh, data for our evaluation. And the, at the end of two days training, uh, ATGW usually takes two days is at the end of today's training, the student are asked to define, define their own success definition. What is success in your definition? They have to write it on the system. They have to input it on the system. And then they have to break down their success definition into a small mission mission in an academic field, mission in a personalization, a personal life field, mission in organization field. So they have to break down their success to achieve their success. They have to be excellent in academic, personalized organization by their uh, target. So after the mission has been input to the system, they have to uh, break down the mission into the small target, we call it as uh, milestone. Milestone in one semester, milestone in one month, it depends on their uh, strategy. At the post training, as uh, explained before by Mr. Abimanyu, there will be a follow up session. Follow up session will uh, met the student with co-trainer. They will periodically check their achievement compared to their milestone. So we can uh, review our milestone where, whether we have achieved that or not. Why? Well, uh, if it is not achieved, why? We can write it uh, on the system. So we can evaluate our next uh, milestone, and then you, we have the, at the post training. You we also provide the evaluation form from the ATGW training overall, so participant or student can evaluate us uh, and evaluate the training uh, overall. This is the I will show you the. Video usage the my tools my tool usage. Uh, I will uh, perform the video and will I maybe I will pause the video and give some description.
This is uh, ATG W 2019. This is the usage of my goals. They use smartphone to access the my goals to write up the goals, the mission, and the target. This is the login page of the My Tools. Sorry, there is no voice. for us. Thank you, Mr. Henny. Yeah, Miss Henny. Okay, thank you, Mr. Anta. It's quite insightful. And now the time for us to have Q&A session. I'd like to invite all of the audience to uh, give comments or maybe questions. If you have questions or comments, you can um, type it in the chat box but you can also give your question directly to our speakers. For the first session, I'd like to invite three questions from all of you. Yeah. Okay, please, if you have questions, you can, you can, um, questions from the audience. Well, actually I have, a, I have some questions for three of you. Yeah. Uh, the first question, yeah, the first question is dealing with the challenge, the challenge that you face um, during the times of pandemics. Okay, but wait, I think I have to, I have to keep my questions because that is a question from one of the audience here, from Miss Cecilia Damayanti. Miss Cecilia, do you want to say your question? To Hello, Miss Cecilia. Miss Cecilia, are you here? Okay, all right. Yeah, okay, I will, I will read the questions for you. From Miss Cecilia Damayanti, Triakara School of Philosophy. Um, this character building around the pandemic make us think how to make our students, especially, um, especially in our country, so okay, he, he is from Indonesia, yeah, to uh, love reading, I guess, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, um, that's what Miss Cecilia uh, thinks about the practice of character building during the times of pandemics. What do you think about this, Mr. Abu, uh, Mr. Abu with this, or you have something to add maybe? Yeah, uh, if we have any, maybe I will speak first. Yeah, so yeah, please. Yeah, from Indonesia, right? If we see Syria Damayanti, Triangara School of Philosophy, yeah, um, young people around me is also more like uh, talking and also maybe watching video, YouTube, maybe. Uh, this is, that is, uh, uh, most the most uh, that they they want to do uh, beside the reading, they don't love reading too much. So yeah, maybe we, we face the same problem. And uh, what we have to do with the the Buhani, I'm sorry, what is the minat minat in interest? Yeah, interest. interest yeah. In, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, to to building the interest maybe for the. Uh, uh, early, early, early adult or lately teenager, mm -hmm. we can we can make them to uh, to to have happy feels happy while reading. For example, we can using uh, me and my my students. We use the 
uh, TikTok, we use the uh, WhatsApp, we use the uh, any other uh, social media to mm-hmm. post our our creation or to mm-hmm. uh, to what is to write the resume mm-hmm. what we have uh, read before. I say, uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, make it. I I personally make make it easier. Okay. To them. All right. Yeah. Fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so to encourage them, we have to we have to make it as fun as possible for them, because yeah, um, yeah they are digital native as you said previously. Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Abi. Um, Mr. Anto. Okay. I think because I'm I live in computer science, so it could be reading. In the old version, is different with uh, reading for centennial and millennial. Reading yes. for millennial, mm-hmm. uh, it could be watching YouTube is reading. It okay. could be playing game is reading. So, as Mr. Abi statement that we can use uh, digital media, digital platform or digital software to make them read. If we are a uh, teacher, we can uh, make a video from our material in the, from Microsoft Word into okay. video with slide, a uh, video slide with music, uh, for example. So uh, I think digital native generation will make uh, force us to uh, have an innovation to make them uh, read with new de- uh, definition. I think. That's my uh, opinion. Okay, well, that's interesting, yeah. Reading for uh, the digital natives is not always reading in uh, our old perceptions is we have to hold the books and we have to read line by line. Even when you are watching YouTube, it's also reading, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Um, Dr. Carson, do you, do you want to say something about this? Maybe you also find this in your campus. You your mic is still mute, Mr. Kato. Yes, yes. Uh, that's a very interesting and beautiful question from Miss Cecilia. Um, in fact, um, I I like your question because um, um, honestly. I also have this feeling that the, the younger generation are not uh, any more fond of reading, uh, especially if you compare that with the older generations, maybe uh, my time and uh, uh, my parents' time. Huh? But uh, yes, we would like to encourage our young ones, the younger generations, our students to keep reading because uh, it's really it's really fun and we can learn a lot um, in reading so maybe uh, maybe two practical practical things number one maybe when we give our students assignments uh, just make sure that uh, we give them uh, interesting readings or stories to, to read so that they can learn uh, lessons uh, especially the character and the values that we, they, mm-hmm. uh, we would like them to learn so it's not only purely lecture in class via online, but um, we can give them assignments, uh, short stories to, to read. And then second, uh, maybe practical note is uh, uh, we can encourage them to download mm-hmm. an, an app and then they can uh, download some eBooks they can read. And, uh, it's, it, it's quite a challenge, I know, because the younger generation, with due respect, maybe I'd be happy if you correct me if I'm wrong, but my impression is they would rather use their cell phones and laptops in playing games rather than reading. So, but modesty aside, I show examples to my three children uh, that before I sleep, I, I read. And uh, then uh, I, I noticed that my children, they also find books to read. So maybe we can show them and teach them by, mm-hmm. by, by example. Mm-hmm. So we, we, 
we encourage our younger generation, our students to read by mm -hmm. showing them that we also read. And, uh, you can show mm -hmm. your, your cell phones and the app, the books that you already have downloaded. Thank you very much, Ms. Cecilia, for that uh, mm -hmm. beautiful question. Okay, thank you, Mr. Carson. We got your point. So we can teach them and we can encourage them to read by giving them example. Yeah. All right. Uh, still related with that, still from Ms. Cecilia. Ms. Cecilia continues with these questions. It is a fact or it just hot? What do you think about this, Mr. Uh, Antok first, maybe? Okay. Uh, in the computer science, there is a, what is called uh, gamification. So we can use gamification uh, to to uh, to make them critical. I think uh, when we on competition or on this class, uh, for example, I give them, I give them a, a programming task, and then who will submit first will get a five star, and then the the and the right. Uh, so they will get competition to uh, to thinking creative or creative thinking. So I think gamification will be a um, uh, good method to make them creative because a competition will, uh, any what we say, com uh, 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 punching. It will uh, trigger. Yeah, the, yeah. Mm -hmm. a competition will trigger uh, the student to. Uh, uh, of the faculty of psychology. <laughs> Uh, SRKM is a student counseling service. Yeah, like that. Student counseling service, and uh, we have the program to to serve to serve the student who need counseling, uh, especially in this in this pandemic. Also, yeah, and luckily we also have a faculty of psychology under Ibu. Margareta Sis Tija Utami as a dean in here. Hello, Ibu Margareta Sis Tija Utami. Uh, so the university, the member of university, like uh, a lecturer, also student, we working together to face this pandemic COVID-19. So, yeah, that's all, Queen. Okay, so uh, that is like a counseling center for the students. Yep. Yeah. Are there many students coming to that center, Pak Abi? Uh, students in the center, yes. There are 20 students working in that center. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. The students who are working there. I mean, are there many students uh, coming for consultations? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and it's free. It's free. Okay. For yeah, it's, it's, it's free. Okay. Yeah. All right, thank you, Pak Api. That's how it is handled in our uh, university. Uh, okay, you want to share something, Dr. Carson? Yes, uh, sure, sure, sure. Um, so first, um, when we when we started the, the online class, um, we we really have the, with our admin, we really have uh, um, asked our students. Uh, to comment and to make suggestions uh, um, uh, what they would like to happen during this foundation and then they can uh, have their suggestions in uh, via online mm -hmm. and then we have uh, we have some uh, people in the university uh, especially under the vice chancellor for academic affairs mm -hmm. that they they gather all these uh, comments and suggestions and evaluations and then these are being uh, relayed to us, the faculty, the teachers, mm -hmm. giving of learning tasks. Um, so I only have maybe to give one or two learning tasks uh, a week, not 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 uh, many many learning mm -hmm. tasks. Uh, think taking into consideration that these students they also have other teachers, others have. Uh, 
So uh, we are strongly encouraged by our administrators to just uh, give the basic and the minimal requirements. Mm -hmm. And then after the, the, the days of conducting classes, so in our school, we have, uh, we have synchronous, that means we have to meet our students via online using Zoom maybe or mm -hmm. Google Meet. Oh, and yeah. then uh, they have to do the learning tasks and assignments on their own, and we call that asynchronous uh, learning mm -hmm. style. So um, recently, we have decided that we will only meet uh, online, face to face, I mean, um, via Zoom or uh, Google Meet, for students mm -hmm. only once a week. And the rest of the week, they have to do the, the, uh, the assignment and the learning tasks. And then finally, I think one more uh, practical example I can give is, instead of having classes or meeting them also on Friday, we, we declare uh, our, our vice office of the vice chancellor for academic affairs um, said that we will not hold any class or classes. We will not give our students assignments on Fridays because uh, um, we would uh, give our students the time to relax mm -hmm. and maybe for their mental wellness and mel uh, mm -hmm. mental uh, wellness so they can relax and not be stressed with the assignments and... Uh, an idiot uh, in scientific uh, research. But we do that in a small survey. Small survey after uh, training, before training. Uh, then we also take the survey for the trainer and co-trainer. What they feel, what they get at the training, but uh, if uh, on scientific study, I think mm -hmm. I, we haven't not yet to that. Mr. Afi can yeah. add it. Yeah, uh, ATGW 2020 will be finished in July. This July, July 2021. So, uh, will be will be good. Uh, will be, will be good if me and maybe Pak Anto and other other person and in ATGW, if we continue that that to report, uh, so we can have a scientific uh, scientific what is evaluation in ATGW. Mm -hmm. So maybe in July or or August we will have it. Okay. Ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So it will be done soon, yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Next. Um, Mr. Garson, you want to add something? Yeah, I just like to congratulate the university that you have this APGW. It's uh, uh, to be honest, it's uh, very new to me. APGW, arising the grateful uh, yeah. winners. winners. Yes, uh, this is a new tagline for me personally. You know? but I think it it involves it. I, uh, that the at the heart is uh, helping our students grow in gratitude or gratefulness. Okay, uh, and so I think from our from our university's uh, standpoint, uh, uh, since we are in a Catholic university and we are also very strong in uh, our recollections and asking our students for. To, to reflect and to pray, I think uh, we, can, we can see that the, this activity helped the students go back and look into themselves mm -hmm. and uh, look at the things that they need to be grateful for in spite and despite of the pandemic, uh, in spite despite of the limitations. Uh, hopefully they would also feel that gratitude, sense of gratitude that they are still blessed by God. Uh, mm -hmm. But as to the as to the formal research study uh, having been conducted in our mm -hmm. university, I still have to check if we if we already have that. But during our seminars, our recollections, then we have this. We have this uh, the, um, uh, nurturing the sense of gratitude among our students. Okay. 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 Thank you. 
All right, all right. Now let's uh, check the next questions from Miss Winda Arum Nukraheni from Sukhya Pranoto Catholic University. How all of you adapt to apply the new method of character building education during the pandemic? How all of you adapt to apply the new method of character building education during the pandemic? So she's asking about uh, the adjustments, yeah, the adjustments that um, we do for character building education during the times of pandemic. Well, actually, just now all of the speakers have presented some ideas and um, also shared their experiences and how to conduct um, the character building education during the pandemic. Yeah, uh, from the Philippines, there are some interesting activities, including the uh, the um, the contests, yeah, the competitions, the online competitions, and then the recollections. And from SCU, uh, one of the activities uh, that have been modified or adjusted during the times of pandemic is the online ATGW, yeah, as what have been uh, explained by the speakers. Okay, so maybe we can elaborate this later. And let's move first to the next questions from Ms. Uh, Effie. Yeah, Ms. Effie, are you here? Hello, Ms. Effie. Where are you from, Ms. Effie? Oh, she's uh, hiding okay, somewhere. Okay, from Miss Effie, I will read uh, her questions. How do you how do you do when students are not lazy and active during online class during the pandemic? Oh, maybe maybe what she means is how how do you do or what do you do when students are lazy? Maybe. Or not lazy, are lazy and not active probably yeah, during the online classes or the online programs because uh, as, as um, we know that all of the activities including um, the teaching and learning process are conducted online and also the character building educations are also conducted online and well how about these situations if there are some students who are lazy and um, they are not active during those activities Okay, this is interesting questions. Thank you, Miss Effie. Maybe okay. I, like yes, 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 yeah. Okay, please, Dr. Carson. First, uh, it's it's uh, it's difficult to um, make the judgment that students are lazy. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, yes, it's a possibility that there are students <laughs> who are lazy, <laughs> and they would rather do interesting things. Uh, what satisfies the what gives pleasure to the senses, maybe to the eyes, uh, rather than the brain. Okay, uh, but at the same time, uh, like in our case, uh, our school have has decided to make three categories among our students: category one, two, and three. So mm -hmm. category one says. Uh, if you have no internet connection and if you have no cell phones and no laptop, then maybe uh, as you study in our university, we can give you a modular type of uh, class learning, modular learning type. Or Second, mm -hmm. if you have laptop or a cell phone, but uh, you have a, a, a connectivity problem or not stable, so maybe you belong to category two, then you can do this and you can do that, you can join us. And then finally, the category three, uh, it's about they have cell phones, they have laptop, they are strong connectivity to internet, then uh, 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 those are the three categories, no? So it's, and then, uh, but based on my personal experience and some of our teachers also, uh, students uh, attending online class would tend to turn off their video cam. Yes, that's true. Yes. 
So the possibility maybe is uh, uh, they have a connectivity problem. Mm -hmm. So if they turn on the video cam, many of my students uh, would say, sir, uh, is it okay? I'll just recite but uh, I will not uh, show my face or uh, turn on the video cam because uh, I'm only using my data. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, I might get lost. Uh, so what I'm saying now is uh, there are students who are that simply log in for attendance purposes, but then they turn off their video cam and uh, turn off the, mic the microphone and then they go back to sleep or do this thing or do that thing. Uh, maybe just uh, eat or some students funny, they would say, sir, I will not show my face because I just woke up or sir, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm, I'm still cooking. I'm cooking for my <laughs> siblings. So, but I can participate in our class. So mm -hmm. equally, I think there are students who are lazy. We call it uh, lazy if they are lazy and then mm -hmm. uh, but how do we encourage them to overcome such laziness? Maybe to make our students feel valued and important. Mm -hmm. Because uh, okay. uh, recently, uh, one, we just ended our second One of my students said, Sir, uh, I'm, I'm glad that in our class, as we enter our class and you see our name, you greet us good morning, good afternoon, and you ask, how are you? Mm -hmm. how are you? Mm -hmm. And uh, by doing that, you make us feel we are valued and we are important. Mm -hmm. and so maybe students won't be lazy if teachers are also not lazy. Mm -hmm. in, uh, asking how are the students and happy to see you, something like that. No, I'm happy that you're here. Uh, mm -hmm. So I think, uh, yeah. Uh, if we can make our classes uh, interesting, I think students will also be interested to attend our classes. And so we can avoid such uh, laziness. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I love that. How to make our students feel valued. Yeah, um, greet them. And then uh, just simple things, calling their names, asking how they are doing. I think uh, that will help them to be encouraged to join all of the online classes and online activities. All right, super, Dr. Gerson. Mr. Abi, maybe it seems that you have something to say. Yeah, uh, maybe same with Sir Gerson, but yeah. In this at ECW and also in my class, I also uh, sometimes singing with my student before mm. before the class is full, yeah. And also maybe I I make them into a small into a small what is team, small group. Okay. Yeah. So so uh, so they can be active with their friend and report report the uh, discussion. In, in the bigger class, yeah. Uh, and also we using the game, and also, yeah, we uh, same with Mr. Gerson, I also uh, ask for a student for, for presentation, mm -hmm. or for uh, presenting their idea, and maybe uh, also when I just, what is menyapa in Bahasa Inggris? Just to, to say hello. Yeah, Just to say hello, to greet the students. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe, yes, maybe they are lazy, uh, but maybe they are not lazy. Maybe mm -hmm. they are not activating their cameras because of the signal. Maybe mm -hmm. maybe they are also working because their family is collapsed during this pandemic. Yeah, yeah I don't really, really, really understand what they, what they are doing right now, but... I I know I have a big hope that they are can be responsible in whatever they are now, but it will in whatever their condition now. Yeah, thank you, Wendy. Okay, Mr. Anto, you want to yeah. say something about this? I think just like uh, uh, Mr. Abi and Mr. Carson, uh, we usually randomly choose the student to uh, answer some question but I want to uh, tell you about the funny thing that 
we do in my class to make them happy and mm -hmm. uh, uh, make them stand, uh, stay tuned to the class. Uh, uh, in my class, I, I have uh, uh, applied this and it is, it is very funny and uh, uh, make us happy. I said okay. to my student, like, uh, let's we move to our uh, other room. Mm -hmm. And then there is a uh, ten student that do not move. <laughs> <laughs> then we back again to the uh, refuge room, and we said, "Hello, are you there?" <laughs> uh, after that, uh, everyone will stay tuned to listen to uh -huh. me. Because okay. we can go to other, other room if they are not listen to make a, <laughs> a, a class to, to finish the class. So the I think that's a, a lot of thing we can do to make the class uh, interesting. Or okay. in computer science, we usually use uh, output based method. That, uh, uh, not turn on the camera is not no problem for us in computer mm -hmm. science mm -hmm. because we know that. It consume more uh, data, packet mm -hmm. data. What's packet data in English? Yeah, the data uh, is fine. Yeah. So uh, we, it is okay for us to not turning on the camera, mm -hmm. but we also check the output of the class. For example, today we going to um, make some game. Then I mm -hmm. go to the e learning platform to create the assignment. Uh, place to uh, to submit, and I see all of them submit the task. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I, uh, I think okay. that's all. Okay, so if you, if we don't want our students to be lazy, then um, we are not supposed to be lazy. Yeah? We have to um, improve our uh, ability. We have to be more creative. We have to create our class as fun as possible. Yeah, as what uh, you all have done so far. Yeah, and also Mr. Abi said that he usually sings before the class. Maybe after the sessions, Mr. Abi will also sing a song for us. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> All right, uh, next questions from Gabriel Asail Tarigan from SU. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for the great materials given by the speaker. Is there any possibilities of universities currently joining the Zoom meeting, working together on a character building event? Wow, it sounds great. Well, it sounds ambitious. I believe the prospect of universities working together with each of the experience of character building events held beforehand can also be quite beneficial. I think that's, that's a good idea. Yes, uh, I'd like to answer or uh, comment on that. Thank you, Ms. Asail, Asail, S-C-U, oh, Gabriel, oh, Mr. Gabriel, yeah. So, yes, uh, that's a beautiful, uh, although, yeah, it sounds ambitious, but why not? It's possible. It's very, very possible. Uh, on a practical note, maybe we can start with a small number or... Uh, in our school, we have, say, for example, the student government uh, uh, office, and we have our student leaders. So maybe we mm -hmm. can, uh, from my end here, for example, from La Salle, maybe I can contact the, our student mm -hmm. government uh, mm -hmm. president, and then their leaders, student leaders, and then uh, they can communicate and organize something like sharing of best practices, how to build the characters among students, which uh, uh, I think um, the students will become more interested to hear from their fellow students rather than from the teachers to right now, for example. <laughs> we have some yeah. students here. I'm sure our students here would uh, prefer to listen to another student from Bacolod City speaking uh -huh. about character building. No? Uh, so yes. Uh, I welcome I welcome that uh, uh, suggestion. Yes, we can follow that up if you like. Okay, thank you, 
Dr. Garsans. Uh, we also still have Dr. Tina, Christina, Dr. Christina Ananingse, our Vice Director for Students Affair. Yeah, uh, Dr. Tina, what do you think about this idea? Please unmute yourself, Putina. Okay, sorry, Dr. Henny. Could you repeat the questions? Uh, there is a suggestion from Gabriel Asail Tarikans who suggests to um, if we can have like um, joint events uh, from all of the universities attending our webinar today for build, character building events. What do you think about okay. this? Okay, okay, this is a great idea. Yeah, then, yeah, why not? Okay, we why not? Do yeah. It. So, yeah. yeah. We can have collaborations among uh -huh. the universities that yeah, attend uh -huh. these webinars with the LaSalle Baccalaureate Philippines. Yeah, so it's a very good idea, I think. We can prepare it and start it. Yeah, okay. Well, that will be great. And we also have Mr. Benny here. Mr. Benny, the vice director for cooperation. Mr. Benny, are you here? Yes. Yeah, okay. What do you think about this idea, Mr. Benny? That will be great and awesome, I think. Uh, we will support all the documentations and you know all of the uh, facilities to materialize uh, this idea. That will be great, yeah. Okay, okay, see, we can do it, yeah, we can do it. Um, yeah, we can facilitate Utina if uh, sure. students and also all of the participants here wants to have something that we can do together, we can yeah. contact our um, university. You can uh, contact me maybe, yeah, you can because uh, our office later I can type our email address in the chat box. But it's very easy actually, I O at uh, unika, U N I K A dot A C dot I D. Then I can uh, forward your emails, your requests to our colleagues here, to the, uh, to the students' affairs or to the uh, cooperation uh, office of uh, uh, vice director affairs. Okay, thank you for your great idea, Gabriel. Gabriel uh, Tarigan. Let's see if we have another questions. Okay, from Leon Gabriela from SU. Would you organize an event which all of us from different universities can participate? Okay, the same, the same uh, suggestions. So I think everyone agrees, and I think this is also one of the students. Well, Dina, I think the students here are very enthusiastic about this. So or you can make it, I guess we can We can have it someday. All right, and okay. All right, okay, so we are waiting for the next event uh, organized by the, uh, the students of our office. And also if there are some invitations from other universities who join us this afternoon, I know that there are some colleagues from other countries from the Philippines, from Myanmar, and I, I don't know, maybe there are also some others from, um, yeah, maybe uh, from India or from other countries and also other cities in Indonesia. Uh, please uh, contact us. And if you are interested in, um, in um, organizing a joint event with us, you all are welcome. All right. Okay, uh, do we still have questions here? Well, we still have, we still have times. So maybe uh, if you still have questions, Dr. Henry, Dr. Henry, can... have questions. Yes. 
Oh, yes, yes. You have the question. Very easy, okay. actually. I'm very okay. curious. <laughs> participants mm -hmm. here uh, sent me a private message. I will mm -hmm. not tell the name, but mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to read them. Hello, uh, so Mr. Garzon, only want to say hi from De La Salle University, Manado, Indonesia. Ah, okay. So, and, then, and then sending best regards to one of our brothers. I think the brother was... So uh, my question now is... So uh, my question now is, how, how come there's... a uh, there's another Lasallian uh, participant here. You, you, have you invited uh, also other participants from other schools? Or, uh, yeah, I'm just curious. Thank you. Okay, uh, who will answer these questions? Putina or? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Please. Okay. Thank you. And I'd like to say hello to Miss. Stella Kaunang from the La Salle Manado. Hello. Hello, Miss Stella. Bu Stella, apa kabar? How are you? Yeah, she is attending this webinar, <laughs> Dr. Sled. Ah, here she is. Hello, Miss Christina. Hello, how are yes, you? I'm glad to attend this webinar. Especially, I saw that uh, La Salle from Bacolod also involved mm. in the seminar and United Board. And I want to say hi to one of our uh, one of our fellow, our association. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. your... La so Animo La Sal. Animo La Sal. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Animo La Sal. Okay. But, but, but I'm, I'm impressed because your seminar is inclusive. You invite or you welcome other other teachers, participants, students from. The university. It's not only between our school, the start, Bacolod, the school, on Polka, no? um, just uh, impressed. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bustela. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> and we, yeah, we invited many universities in Indonesia. It's not only in Java Islands. Also, some participants come from Sumatra Islands in the west part of Indonesia, Manado, mm -hmm. yeah, and many other Medan. Yeah, Medan. Medan. Yeah, just now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they have Thanks. responded, no? They have responded. Meaning your university must be leading the uh, Indonesia schools. In no? Indonesia, Sugiyo Pranoto Catholic University is uh, famous. As a Catholic University, oh. our also uh, the same association in Catholic University in Indonesia. So when you yeah, yeah. invite everybody yeah, attend, yeah, thank you. All the, <laughs> Beautiful. All the Catholic University, yes. Yes, congratulations. Very good. Very yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hopefully, we can meet at another events. Yeah. That we may share our character building educations yes yeah and we invite the students also yes with that our will be great that would be more thank you yeah. thank you Bustela Kaunang Bustela, yeah. I'll send your regards yeah thank you Buheni yeah okay thank you Putina and yeah we are so happy and we are blessed by all of the participants coming from all over Indonesia and also our um, colleagues from the Philippines thank you for joining this webinar and yeah hopefully we can learn a lot from this webinar uh, except if we still have some questions, I will conclude our webinar today. I will, I will check it. Okay, no more questions. No more questions. Okay. All right, because uh, there are no more questions. So once again, thank you for the great uh, sharing from our speakers today and what we have been learning so far from 
our inspiring speakers today really prove that character building education cannot be stopped by anything, including COVID-19. And we must be creative. We must uh, encourage ourselves to adjust with this situation because character building is very important. And, um, you know, this is a part of uh, the educational process and uh, actually it is called as the true education itself. Yeah, I quote it from uh, David O. McKay, who says that true education does not consist merely in the acquiring of a few facts of science, history, literature, or art, but in the development of characters. So, we will never give up with any situations, including these hardest times in uh, uh, our life, but we will keep striving and we will um, keep uh, having this character building educations um, in uh, whatever situations. Yeah, and uh, we, really, we really hope that um, our sessions today is beneficial for everyone who joins our sessions this afternoon. So once again, thank you for all the speakers. And to end these sessions, before I give it back to the MC, let's join me to give virtual round of applause to our great speakers and also to our great audience. Yeah, all right, okay, thank you, thank you. Back to you, Evelina. All right, thank you very much, Dr. Henny Hartono for the concluding remarks. So ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our meeting for today. And we do hope everyone will enjoy spending time together here and having great discussions. And to end this event, I would like to invite all participants to join us in a prayer and Ms. Pia will lead the prayer. Okay, thank you, Ms. Evin. I will lead this prayer with a Catholic way. Let us pray together in the name of Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Heavenly Father, as we come to the end of our time together, we thank you for what has been accomplished here today. May the matters discussed serve as a catalyst to move us forward and cause us to advance and seek growth in all areas of our life. May we live here recognizing you are the God of all the wisdom and you are willing to lead us forward. This we pray in, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Okay. Thank you very yeah. much, Ms. Pia. So, ladies and gentlemen, we reached the end of this event, but before we end, please fill the attendance form that will be shared by the committee in the chat box. And also in this time, I encourage all participants to open the camera because we will have the photo session. And for this session, I will give the time for the operator to count. Okay, um, I will take a picture starting from the first slide. I will count to three from the first slide. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, next, uh, second slide. I will count to three, one, two, three. And the third slide, I will count to three. One, two, three. And for the fourth slide, I will count to three. One, two, three. For the fifth slide, I will count to three. One, two, three. And for the last slide, I will count to three. One, two, three. 
Okay, it's done. Okay, thank you very much. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I am Evelina Nisi as the MC for this webinar. And on behalf of the committee, would like to express our gratitude to all the speakers and the participants. So we hope we will meet again in our next webinar. So thank you very much and have a nice day. Goodbye. Thank you for inviting me also. Thank you very much. And then, uh, Sir Abi, thank you very much for reminding me that I should be what? I should be uh, offering my talents to God, to my country. And, sir, thank you, sir. To be remain grateful and, uh, uh, yeah. Dr. Henny, thank you for all the communications and the invitations. And I think there's one person I also would like to thank here uh, because of her. Uh, my name reached the attention of Dr. Henny, uh, uh, Dr. Shaila from our university also. I think she was the responsible person why my name reached uh, uh, Dr. Henny's attention. So, Dr. Shaila, thank you. And to my fellow Lasallians from Bacolo, they are, some of them are here. I cannot mention everyone, but they are also here. So, thank you very much and God bless everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Thank bye. you. Salamat. Dr. Sheila. Thank time. you. We've only just begun. Welcome, Doctor. What matter most is. Yeah.